Kia ora kato, hello everyone. Fon ying dai ga. My name is Christine Young. Wo shi Yang Li Jing. My ancestors are of the Yang clan from the Pong Wu village, Guangdong, China. My father arrived in New Zealand in 1957. I am the first child and eldest daughter of my clan to be born in New Zealand. I was born in Balkutha in the summer of 1969. In his 2013 book, Māori in Aotearoa, my dear friend Buddy Makari, historian, komātua and author, wrote these opening words. Origins of Natangata, the people. It's a long, long way from mainland China to the rocky headland which marks the place where the Fakatane River joins with the great sea, Kiwa's Ocean. But that is the journey my ancestors completed about 800 years ago, when our ancestral waka, Matatua, crossed the bar at the river mouth and they stepped ashore. These are the threads that bring together my cultural lines. From a family of market gardeners, both in China and in New Zealand, I feel an affinity to this land and the strength of my family, the extended family, and to a sporting family through bonds of common interests, of shared hardships, forged by struggles, successfully completed together. I was appointed as the High Performance Director for ITKD New Zealand and served in this role from 2013 until 2019. This talk is about the gift of a haka to the New Zealand Taekwondo team and how this process has enriched the high performance culture. The haka was created by Brent Penne, an elder of Ngāti Tumatawinga. Ngāti Tumatawinga is the iwi of the New Zealand Army and translates as the tribe of the God of War. The New Zealand Defence Force Marae is at the military camp in Waiuru, a town in the heart of the North Island. The haka gifted is called Ngā which simply means the ferns. Our team managers for the 2017 World Chance campaign were Mr Nathan Bowden and Mrs Paula Bowden. This is the story of Ngā in Nathan's words. A father of one of our students was based at the Waiuru Army Camp. I used this contact to organise a weekend training for the New Zealand High Performance Team as part of the build-up to the 2017 World Championship campaign. At various World Championships, the New Zealand Taekwondo team had been requested to perform a haka at opening ceremonies. The New Zealand teams initially just used the haka to support each other at the competitive events. Various versions had been written over time, but the meaning had been lost, words forgotten, and upon closer analysis, I was told, the version we were learning didn't actually make sense anymore. I was personally uncomfortable with this and it felt disingenuous and misrepresentative of who we were trying to be. I wanted us to do it with a much greater level of respect and understanding going forward. When organising this campaign, I made a new contact at the marae, Brent Penne. I asked if the iwi would consider gifting a haka to the New Zealand team. Brent really embraced our willingness to connect with them. I met with him and we had long conversations about our team, our roots in the Korean military, our own pioneer instructors who were based and posted to Malaysia and Singapore and how they came back and helped introduce Taekwondo to New Zealand. After I had shared the backstory, 
Brent wrote new words for us. His words represented our past, our present, reflected physical aspects of our art, and was reflective of our military and Korean origins. We talked through our patterns, and I showed Brent some movements, and he developed these into actions. Brent didn't initially know much about this, but he was aware of past Waiuru army personnel who were members of early Taekwondo clubs. On the Friday of our high performance camp, PT instructor JD Silver put us through our paces. He also told us about past army personnel who were Taekwondo practitioners. This gave us a connection to our TKD forebearers who were stationed there. The camp. On Saturday, we arrived onto the Marae and were given a history about the Marae, told about other sporting New Zealand teams who had come before us. We were told we were forever bonded and now we belong to this Marae, Ngāti Tumataunga. We were told this is now our place too. From there, Brent taught us as a group the haka, the words and actions. He explained each movement and the meaning, translating the words and organised our formation. We rehearsed, we then shared dinner, did the dishes and we were left to do more practice. Waiuru was a truly awesome experience with everyone leaving with a real sense of belonging and togetherness. Brent and the army personnel were amazing, generous and inclusive with a keen interest in bringing this now essential piece of our team's identity to life in a real and personal way. We felt much more connected to each other and to our collective culture more than many of us had ever felt before. Brent later came to one of our Auckland camps to check on our progress. But here it is, na kaponga. Let us bow our heads. The dawn arises. The breath of Tafari awakens. My comrades, let us awaken. Let us stand. Let us be alert. Let us stamp in unison, here in unity. Here we are bound together by the sacred ferns. From New Zealand, ha ha, my battle belt signifies the power of Tumatoinga, the Weta Maui, the peaceful balance of Rongo, the pride of my family, ha ha. Sacred ferns from above, sacred ferns from below, sacred ferns. We are ready. E ha ha. The haka is about us, our roots, our art, representing our families and our country. Nathan Bowden, New Zealand team manager. My experience as the high performance director and as a guest to the weekend camp. I remember arriving onto the Wairu base and immediately felt the spirituality around me without it being religious. I could hear and feel the echoes from work and the training drills of the cadets that had come before us. The weekend's activities of being welcomed onto the Marae, doing our own training, being in the barracks was profoundly the most powerful camp I had been on. The athletes were given the words, they recited them and learnt them to heart and then they were shown the actions, actions that were linked to movements we were used to performing as TKD athletes, actions now linking our identity as Kiwi athletes and of Ngāti Tumatoinga. I felt a great sense of connection. I felt grateful. I felt proud. Proud to be part of this land, part of this culture, 
here at the New Zealand Defence Force Base, where many cultures had come together for a common purpose. I was not the only one to experience goosebumps during the initial practices by the team. The ceremony, the words, the actions, the haka was truly uplifting, uplifting and bonding in the most profound way. It was as if we had found a new dimension to our identity. Thank you for tuning in.